Aaron, is this the first time ever at TIE Fight that we've called where Sanchai isn't the final fight? Because it feels pretty weird. Yeah, I believe it is. Just missing the dance. There was one the music. Fight, there was one fight night that we had in Bangkok. When we first joined Thai Fight, which was like a mini Thai Fight. I'm not sure if Sanchai was on that card or not. I'll go back and look, but yeah. Get well soon, GOAT. Yeah, get well soon. Hey, you can see in the white corner for the final fight this evening, 22-year-old Reza Ahmad Nazad, the Leopard, fighting out of Iran, 180 centimeters tall. This fight taking place at 73 kilograms. His professional record, 42 fights, 32 wins, nine losses, and one draw. And there is his main event opponent, I saw Jaw Dan Rayong, 182 centimeters tall, 92 victories, sorry, 92 fights with 81 victories, 11 losses, and 0 draws. He is the 2019 Thai Fight Card Check Champion at 70 kilograms. Starting to move up in weight now. It's amazing to think that he's now heavier than Sayok. Yeah, he's growing <laughs> into his frame for sure. Have to say, who knows how much bigger he's going to get? Only 21 years old. Just going back to his entrance, something very sinister about someone who slow dances to EDM music. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, on that note, very scary. You watch one championship, right? And sure. You see everyone dancing out. I feel like Kitty might have the best mood. Compared it, to all of the one championship fighters. Yeah, at least it's, in, it's got some sort of rhythm. <laughs> this boy can do it all. What an impact he's made. Final fight here at this evening's Thai fight, EMHTT in the black corner from Thailand, Kitty Sojo Dan Rayong. And in the white corner from Iran, Reza Ahmad Nazad. We talked about how PTT used to be an incredibly fast starter, finishing fights in like less than a minute. That Reckless, super aggressive mantle has been passed to Kitty, who is now definitely the most aggressive fighter in the Thai fight stable. Yeah, don't blink, already. don't go to the bathroom, Both don't blink. really shooting in those right kicks. Kitty almost went flying out of the ring, looking for that right elbow. Kitty versus Take Leopard. Razor's head right off his shoulders with that. Yeah, you know, Kitty's moving up three kilograms. He's going to start to feel what it's like to fight bigger fighters. Well, and we've seen him get hit. Strength. We've seen him get hit too. You know, I, I, I don't think that we're that far away from him going through a PTT transformation where he starts to realize that he can't take this amount of punishment and get away with it. Especially like you said, Aaron, as he goes up in weight, and starts fighting guys that have more power to throw around. It looks like there's a cut on the head. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was a conscious mental collision. It so quick. Reza was also gesturing to, you know, don't hit the back of my head. Yeah, Kitty, sorry, PTT, we were talking about. Started tie fight around 70, sorry, 67 kilograms, and then as he started to fight 70 kilogram fighters, that's where the issues lie. Especially when you fight, when you're waiting on the day before, fight bigger fighters. That's what he's doing right now, he's moving up in weight, three kilograms. He's fighting fighters not only who can throw and kick harder, but who can take a dig as well. Yeah, they're just naturally bigger humans. That was my scientific <laughs> breakdown. That's been one of Kitty's favorite techniques with that downward swiping right elbow. I haven't seen it yet in this fight. It's right hand there from Reza. Here comes Kitty. Reza 
Quasar's pushing the pace here. Keeps his back to the front. Switching stances I think as well. Beautiful out on the back. I think it's finally finished. Yeah. We've seen it in all stages. For those elbows. Left down right's coming in. Raise our traps in the corner. Push right cuts to the body. I think he did well to get out of that without too much damage done. Nice left jab there. Kitty. Back into the other corner. This is not where you want to be. You don't want to be back to another corner with a kitty. Might not sound that threatening, but it is. End of round one. so much. But didn't quite get it off cleanly there in the corner. There's one got through. It's weird to show these highlights and say that, that Reza actually had a pretty decent round. I think the majority of the, the good strikes that we saw from Reza and Kitty Light, to be honest, with the kicks to the body right at the beginning of the, uh, the first round. I think what impressed me the most about Reza was just that Kitty seemed a bit reluctant to launch himself in there, which I don't, I'm not sure if I've seen before. And I, oh. I imagine that that's a sign of of respect, maybe, for a bigger fighter. Wait for the bell. It's not every event we get to see Kitty in the second round. There's a nice knee. Yeah, Reza are training out of K1 gym, I believe. Because Kai Vance in his corner. There's a lot of good Iranian fighters at that gym. We've seen a few of them. Yeah, always a lot, isn't there? A good presence of Iranians on Thai fight. He's too desperate to go in with those elbows, isn't he? Good covering up there from Reza. And a nice right hand. Good solid knees there. Oh, that caught him. It's a really nice technique there. The Again. switch knee. He's found a home for that left knee, had him for sure. You know what? I'm pretty sure Reza was scheduled to fight at Lumpy in a couple of weeks. Oh, maybe next week. But they've just found out now that we're going into a bigger lockdown. So for the next two weeks, Muay Thai gyms have to close. So it's like, let's go, let's do it today. Yeah, and the boxing stadiums have to close as well. And, oh! Look at that leg caught the neck is kitty before he went down. I don't think the opportunity to tie, fight a tie fight is the first to take it anyway, right? Show the person bigger. How lucrative. Kitty chasing Razor around the ring. Not catching him with great shots, but doing enough damage. Oh. Razor seems like he's got slippery feet. Oh, oh that one is. That's oh, perfect timing. Oh, my goodness. Lefty. We said that was hurting him oh. in the first round. There was an opening. Oh, he took he's it, done. and that's all she wrote. Just an absolutely gut wrenching knee to the body that had. Reza doubled over like a broken piece of origami. And if you think that that's bad, someone's just come in the ring and put a cloth over his nose. <laughs> now we can't breathe. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great effort though for Reza for the first two rounds. It was, I want to say it was causing Kitty problems, but it was frustrating Kitty. Kitty was unable Giving to do what Kitty to think about, does. For sure. And Kitty came up with something that we haven't really seen for him in those stabbing spear left knees. He worked them over and over to the body of Rezar, and eventually the straw that broke the camel's back, and this time the Iranian's back, right there, bang. And unable to breathe, Rezar goes down, and Kitty is the winner here at Thai Fight, D-F-H-T-T, -T, or should I call it D-F-H-K-I-T-T-I. -T -T -I. Yeah, I mean, that's whatever that was, is great. Yeah, I put Kitty in there. Okay. <laughs> Well, if you didn't know who Kitty was before, 
เอาละครับโอ้โหไปสุดไปก็ the main event คุณมุดสุดแต่จบด้วยคุณโนบาอีกนาวคือเมื่อกี้นั่งคุยกับเป้เลยบอกโหคู่นี้นะสมในคู่สุดท้ายจริงเพราะใส่กันไม่หยุดจริงๆโอ้โหเดินหน้าสู้กันอย่างมันสะใจทำให้รู้สึกว่าเออสมเป็นคู่สุดท้ายผมบอกเลยว่าเป็นไงพี่โบนี่มันมันนี่มันมากถ้าจบก็สวยทุกอย่างดีมามากครับคือต้องบอกว่านักชกอีหลายคนเนี้ยเขาไม่กลัวนักชกไทยเลยนะไม่กลัวเลยฮะฉะนั้นต้องไม่กลัวอย่างเงี้ยให้มันสู้กันมันมันแบบนี้ชนะเราได้ผู้ชนะแล้วนะครับผู้ชนะเราจะฟินแล้วเป็นไอซ์โซโต้แดนรีอาคอนเฟิร์มชันของคุณผู้ชมในนี้มีการแข่งขันทายฝ่าย EMH CT จากไทยแลนด์คิตตี้โซจอดันรายงโอเคบอยส์และสาวสาวสาวสาวสาวสาวสาวสาวสาวสาวสาวสาวสาวสาวสาวส I don't know when the next tie fight will occur. Hopefully, we won't see you in the too distant future. I've been Aaron Suri Sompan. I'm Adam Martin. Thank you. We'll see you again, hopefully soon, here.